But it's not financial advice, it's not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And for and everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button on that YouTube algorithm so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see how I'm analyzing the data. Like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. It's meant to give us a false narrative of the market. You know, to mess with us psychologically so they could take advantage of us. Because they want us to make bad trading decisions that they capitalize on on top of all the criminal activity. But here's the thing. OCC, a lot of the brokers... They need to know, and this is just my opinion, that a class action lawsuit is coming because of AMC1. And for those of you who are not familiar with AMC1, AMC1 was an option play that they invented in order to, and I believe, steal money from retail investors, steal money from pension funds, because they invented this 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 fake option play, which was supposed to be a hundred shares of AMC and a hundred shares of Ape, which technically would be illegal because you cannot have options on preferred shares. But it not only that, they didn't tell investors that any options that they had in play prior to August 22nd would be automatically converted into this fake AMC1 combined options chain. And being that options on preferred shares are, are kind of illegal, not that they follow the law anyway, so illegality is, is totally irrelevant when it comes to, to these bad actors. They don't care whether something's illegal or not. They'll still do what they want. But they 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 kind of forced retail investors into this a AMC one play because people had option plays that went into effect after August twenty second, and then when they woke up on Monday morning, their AMC option play became AMC one, and they weren't able to get out of those positions. They weren't able to sell those positions. They they were forced into these positions. And then it expired worthless. There was no way for you to get out of these positions. So they, they force you into an illegal transaction. And then don't give you an opportunity to get out of the illegal transaction and get your money out. The only way you get out of the transaction is when it expires worthless. And they get to keep all of your money. It's the most outrageous and illegal thing in the world and I see the writing on the wall I see big class action lawsuit over AMC1 because the bad access screwed us over with that they screwed over retail investors because first of all as I said before there are no options on preferred shares that is illegal but they don't care about illegality they do what they want but because they never told us that our eight, not eight rather, our AMC options were going to be automatically converted to AMC one because they didn't let us get out the play and let all these these options expire worthless. They have left themselves open to a major lawsuit, and I see it coming within the next twelve months. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe on all the YouTube algorithm stuff, and tell me what you think about them taking advantage of retail investors with this fake AMC1 option, AMC8 option play, which they knew was illegal from the start. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.